and Dove. I've been taking golden sinus pills and I slept for most of yesterday. It is Dragon's Den and Doyle Day, in case you were wondering, and it's the bestest day of the week. Tonight on Dragon's Den is the student special and the youngest pitcher ever is going to be in the den. So I'm really excited about that. Um, ignore my voice if it cuts in and out or whatever, just ignore me. Um, <laughs> so this morning, since this is technically my first day of the week, because I didn't film a week in review thing on Monday because I was in the sky until 6 a.m. Then I came home and I slept and then went to work and just didn't get to film, but I did get to film my um, Halifax haul and I edited the vlog that goes with it and all that's up on my channel right now. Um, then what happened? And then yesterday was Remembrance Day, so I didn't do anything. I didn't get up out of the bed. Well, that's a lie. I got up out of the bed at 9.30 because the pre-sale tickets for Alan Doyle in February went on sale. Um, he's releasing a new album, so go check out his single. It is available on iTunes, but if you want to sneak peek a listen, it is up on his um, website, which is alandoyle.ca. Uh, if I remember, I'll remember to put it in the description bar below. Um, <clears throat> and then this morning... I did something crazy. I did, like, okay, last, I put on Facebook last night that I was having a hard time deciding what makeup I was going to wear that I bought in Nova Scotia. So, and this morning when I got up, I used my entire, um, well, I used four out of the five MAC shade. No, sorry, I ended up using all five. I got creative. The five MAC eyeshadows that I bought, I used those. And then when I sat down and said, what blush am I going to wear? I only have two cheeks and I can't wear different colors. And I bought eight blushes, so I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay. So I'm really excited because this is the first time I've ever used that. And so um, I will get to form an opinion on that. I'm really excited. And then I put on my lippies a Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick, and this is in the shade Melted Berry. Um, I did wear this in Halifax once, and I also wore one of the neutral colors from the collection there that I bought, so that's what I'm wearing. I don't know why I felt the need to break all that down for you, but um, yay! I'm also using like samples from like my primer and other samples that I have, a foundation sample and all that good stuff. I'm really excited to try the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I just didn't have the energy this morning to um, uh, put it on my face. And then what? Well, well, this is going to be a short week, so my vlogs might be a little bit more complicated in the morning. So I'm really, really excited. And the tickets for Alan Doyle were only $37.50, if you're wondering. But they were pre-sale, and they only sold three rows of seats. So I, I got the front row, obviously, for me, Mom, and Nan. And um, I don't know when tickets actually go on sale, like for the whole like filling up of the theater. But when they do, I will tell you down below, or I'll probably tell you in a vlog. Um... Yeah, so his new album comes out January 20th. The single is up on his website, and the tour's date here is February 17th, I think. I can't remember. It's the 15th or the 17th. It's whatever is the Saturday night um, of those teen dates in February. So with all of that being said, I'm going to go back to my first day of work in almost a week. And uh, I don't know how it's going to go. Wish me luck, my darlings. Um, have a lovely day. Remember, you're beautiful. Thanks so much for hanging with me. And I love having y'all in my life. So see you soon. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday. It's Big Bang Theory Day, in case you're wondering. Um, today's lippy is a Too Faced Melted Lipstick, and it is in the shade Melted Peony. Um, again, from the gift set from Halifax. Go check it out in the hall. Um, I'm still sick. I have elected to taking cold and sinus medication, so I'm definitely sick. I thought it was the ear change from Halifax, but it's not. I'm definitely, like, I'm feeling it. Like, my ears hurt. Everything hurts. So, cold and sinus pills and cough medication and all sorts of other good stuff. Um, last night was Dragon's Den and Doyle. Dragon's Den had a student special. It's one of my favorite specials out of the year because the pitchers are so young and this this season they had a six-year-old pitcher who pitched by herself got a deal like no parents with her no nothing like pitched and got the deal and that was pretty cool because some of the kids get in the den and they're like they're fearless and they're better than the adult pitchers and they know their sales they know their projected profit they know it all and it's really uh, really cool, and I really enjoy watching it. And then Dra and then Doyle, Jesus, I was just talking about Dragon's Den. Girls, listen to mind. Then Republic of Doyle. Um, well, let's just say every word I wanted to use on Twitter to describe Republic of Doyle last night, I couldn't because they were vulgar. So I stuck with Jesus and holy crap. I'm not going to say anything other than that. 
Oh, that, and I told Alan Hocko that he needs to start putting a disclaimer on his shows. Like, warning. Each episode can cause insane brain explosions or something. Like, my head hurt when it was over. So, anyway, yes, that's my rant. Um, I'm afraid to go look at my Twitter because there was lots and lots and lots of notifications when I left, when I, when I fell asleep last night, when I gave up on the world, when I left the Doyleverse. So... I can only imagine how many are there now. There was over 30 last night for me, uh, just going back and forth, because I live tweet with everyone on the uh, in Newfoundland when we watch it, and, uh, and I really enjoy doing that. Uh, lots of favorite tweets, so go get you some. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for me right now. Thank you for watching. I will uh, talk to you later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's almost the weekend. Bye. Hey guys, happy Friday, how are you? I'm sick. Shh. I'm sorry if you could have a hard time hearing me or anything. Um, it's Friday, I watched Big Bang last night. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And uh, then I went to bed and semi died. So, yay! Um, since it's Friday, I am going out tonight. I'm going out to dinner with a friend from uh, junior high. Her name is Holly. Uh, she has a YouTube channel. It's Hollable, I think, and it's a video game channel. So, if I remember, I'll link her down below. Go check her out. Um, what else do I have to say? That's it, really. It's been a really short week, but um, FYI, in exactly seven days, I will be in Toronto with Sabina at this time. And it will be the eve of IMATS. I'm so excited to go to IMATS this year. Uh, I'm really, really happy I get to do it. And, uh... Yeah, that's exciting. Um, today I'm wearing Max Brave on my lips. I feel like it's like a My Lips the Better color. And I really like it. So thank you, Making Up Ashley, for that recommendation. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you now some of my products of the week. That's probably the best thing to do. I'm just going to jump right in. Let's see what I have over here. I have three products, I think. Yeah, okay, so the first thing I have is a little sample. And this is the... <clears throat> Too Faced Primed and Poreless Oil-Free Face Primer. Um, I used it every day this week, so I got like three days out of it. Um, from Yeah, I got this out of Sephora in Halifax, and I really uh, like it. So, yay! I think I might pick up a full-size when I go to Toronto. So that's completely used up now, but it's really nice. Um, it's, it's almost like a... It's almost like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And the Benefit Professional got married and had a baby, and that was their baby. That's my definition of it. I really like it, and I'm happy with it, so yay. Um, the next thing is not just, doesn't have to be this color. Ever since I got these, I got these last Friday, so a week ago today, and I've worn one every single day since then. I just, you guys just haven't seen me. Um, and these are the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipsticks. I have four colors, and I've worn all four of them at some point, and I'm obsessed. I think I'm going to have to invest in the big tubes, because I'm going to go through these like crazy. But um, I do really, really like these. They do last all day. This just happened to be the one I pulled out of my purse. This is in the shade Melted Peony. I think there are eight in the entire range, maybe 12. I can't remember. I think I only had eight swatched on my hand out of all the colors, though. There's a really nice purple one that I really, really, really want to get, like a lilac -y color. Maybe I'll get that while I'm in Toronto. We shall see. And finally this week, my favorite, I've been using it ever since I got it, is my custom-built MAC palette. Um, there's a total glare. Okay, here we go. So, my favorite shades out of this palette, I didn't think I would, not that I didn't think I would love it, but I'm totally obsessed with it, is this shade Beauty Marked. I've been using that in my outer corner every day this week. And then I've been using Woodwinked in my crease. I've been using Espresso as like my lower lash line. I've just been using that to like literally line my eyeball. Um, Pink Venus, I've been putting on my lids surprisingly and I really, really like it. And Dazzle Light has just been my highlight color. And I've been doing that all week and I'm really liking how it's turning out. Um, I like with Beauty Mark that it is like, it's a very buildable color and you can just build up the intensity of it. So I went a little bit darker this morning. Yesterday I went a little bit lighter. I just darkened it up because I was going out tonight and I just wanted it to pop a bit. So yeah, that's what I love um, about this palette. I'm really happy I invested in this. And I'm definitely going to buy more shades from MAC, I think. So, with all of that being said, darlings, I'm going to go now. Um, I have a party Sunday at my Nan's house, and uh, 
tomorrow I think I'm just staying and I might edit a few videos and and try to put my mind to getting ready for Toronto. I should probably get like prepared for that, eh? Considering it's like really soon. Um, it snowed here this week. What else? It was only a light flurry, like as soon as it hit the ground it went away. But either way, it came from the sky and I was cranky about it. Um, yeah. Oh, and my other favorite this week has been Benelin Cold and Sinus, just FYI. I forgot to mention that there a second ago, and uh, it's been my friend, and it's been keeping me going. So with all that being said now, what are your plans for the weekend? Tell me about them in the comments down below. If you guys like these little mini we weekend reviews, give this video a thumbs up. And who knows, maybe you should even subscribe and come back and see me next time. I will see you whenever I see you. Remember, you are beautiful, you are the best, and thank you, as always, for being here. I'll see you later, guys.